Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. <clears throat> Let God be glorified forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Before I go into this word, I want to pray for you. That you will not be tired, you know. You will not be tired in the name of Jesus Christ. To somebody that is hearing me right now, you are at the crossroad. You will not be tired. The, the enemies are liars. You will not be tired. Hallelujah. People are so negative that they will never support what you do. People are so negative. They are so evil. And their negative energy can make you go weary can make you go tired. So you, you might be surprised why did I have to pray Why I was starting this message. It is very important because I see somebody that is at a crossroad. You are so at a crossroad right now because of the negative energy that surrounds the situation you are passing through. You know, they just want to drain to drain your energy, to drain you out from, out from, you know, your strength gone and all of that. They are so evil. But you will not be tired. I am praying for strength upon you. The Bible recorded that in our weakness, his strength is made perfect. You understand? God knows that we have that weakness. That is why he said that his strength will be available for us, even in our weakness. Because negative energy can make us weak. We are humans. There are some times that we have to ask God, Ah, God, why? Oh, they hurt me. They attack me. They do this. You are like, why is this continuing? God, stop this. I can't take it anymore. Sometimes we feel frustrated at God. No matter how perfect we are, we are humans. So that is why when I'm releasing messages like this, I don't judge people. <clears throat> I only encourage them not to give up. I am not going to judge you. Ah, why are you so weak to pray? Ah, everybody is praying. You are keeping quiet. You are the cause of your no. No. Because everyone cannot handle the same situation the same. What I can take, you might not be able to take it. What you can take, I might not be able to take it. There are many ministries that fold up, even on this YouTube. You are looking for the owner of the, maybe they will tell you that two years ago was the last time the person came online. It's not that the person don't have worse. It's not that God is not speaking. God speaks every time, every second. God speaks every day. Every time God speaks. God speaks. His words are prophecy. There's this Bible. God speaks every second. Hallelujah. But because some of them, they could not stand the test of time. The persecution on this journey, especially on this uh, social media, the bullying, the insult. If you are not strong, you will run into hiding. When God is not sending them, they will, ah, God, I cannot anymore. God is not going to kill them. He will always look for another person, another vessel to use. God is not going to kill them. That is one thing. Hallelujah. But as for you, as for you, you will not be tired because the negativity, even Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ lamented at God. 
Why do you forsake me? Why have thou forsake me? The Bible says on the cross, he lamented. So is he us? <laughs> Just an ordinary human being, you know, that cannot feel frustrated sometimes. But despite that, he didn't get tired of carrying the cross to the end. You understand? So even in the guiding, the Bible says, he said, if it is possible, let this call pass over. But the angel was assigned to strengthen him. So some situation we find ourselves, some pain, some agony that want to make us feel so tired, feel so tired. God will send his word. God will send his angel. God will send his comforter to strengthen us. Because the journey is leading to somewhere. The journey is leading to somewhere. God is not a God that follow you into a journey. And halfway he will, he will give up and say, okay, be going. I'm coming. I'll see you later. No. When he accompanies you, he accompanies you to the end. There are so many evil and negative energy. There are witchcraft negative energy. There are voodoo negative energy. This voodoo specifically, they use doll. They use different kind of uh, anything at all. They used to represent people. They drain their strength. But you will not be tired because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. You will not be tired because the hand of the Lord is upon you. They are evil and they are negative. Vampires. Looking for anyone that is still standing to suck strength out of. You are still standing. They want to suck the strength out. They want to destroy the strength. They want to destroy the Z. They are destroyer. But you will not be tired. Where you can carry yourself, the hand of the Lord will lift you up. And God will carry you. Where you cannot speak, the hand of the Lord will locate you and he will speak for you. Because the battle is not of you, it is of the Lord. And the Bible says his glory is shared with no man. So the glory of God upon your life will not be divided. Yes, you might say, Evangelist Sarah, yes, I'm tired. I understand. But the strength of the Lord is upon you. So you will not be tired. I don't know why this does not go. I have tried my best. I have done this. I have done that. It is okay. God knows what you are facing. He knows that there will be an end. To every struggle. He said, I set before you an open door that no man can shut. Because you have a little strength, you did not give up on God. Because of that, God will open a door that no man can shut for, shut for you. Because of your zeal, your resistance, not to be tired, not to give up, not to allow their negative energy to pull you down. He said you have a little strength, a very little one, but you did not give up on God. Hallelujah. I am praying for you wherever you are, that you will not be tired. The God that restore, restore your strength. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. 
I remain your sister, Evangelisira. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.